Magnolia 5 provides the Assets app to manage all your digital assets. For instance, your pictures, videos and PDF files. The Assets app is your gateway to all your media files stored within Magnolia's digital asset management system, short DAM. Let's take a look at it. Open the Assets app from the Apps screen. With the Assets app, you can organize all your media files, easily upload new ones and use the included image editor for basic image editing operations. For demonstration, let's upload a new video and add it to a page. Select your video folder and click on Upload Asset, either in the action bar or simply right click on the folder and choose Upload Asset from here. You can now select a file to upload or drag and drop your video to the upload area in the form. Provide a title and click Save. As you can see, the file is instantly available in the Videos folder. Now let's also add a poster image that will serve as a thumbnail on the page before the video is played. To do so, we simply repeat the steps from the video upload. Select the video folder, choose Upload Asset, drag and drop your image file to the uploader and provide a title. In the current forum, you can see a small preview of the uploaded image. Clicking on the magnifying glass at the bottom of the preview provides you with a full screen view of the image. Assume we want to modify the poster image to better represent the movie it stands for. We can easily edit it using the image editor of Magnolia 5. The image editor is provided as part of the Assets app. For basic image editing operations, you don't need additional software or deeper knowledge in image processing. To go to the image editor, click on Edit Image or the Edit icon beneath the preview. The action bar shows you the available image editing actions. For instance, you can crop, rotate or flip an image. Let's crop the image to a better image section. Select Crop in the action bar and select your desired image section. Now click on Crop Image at the bottom of the screen. But wait, the crop is not really the way we wanted it. Thanks to the built-in Undo Redo functionality, you can simply click Undo and start over. Selecting a different crop area and then click on the Crop button again. That looks good. Now click on Save. As you can see, the preview of the picture got instantly updated and you can view it again clicking on the magnifying glass. The image editor is not only applicable for assets, but also for any other item in any other app that has an image resource. For example, the picture of a contact in the Contacts app. Now click Save and all your changes are saved. The video and the poster image can now easily be added to any of your web pages. Click on the App Launcher in the top bar and open the Pages app. Select the page you want to add to the video and open it by double clicking on it. Select the content area and click on New Content Component. Select Video and click on Choose. Click on Select Asset. Select the video from the video folder. And click on Choose. Let's do the same for our edited poster image. And save your changes. And here's our video. You see the poster picture and the video have been automatically resized to fit the size needed for this content component.